In order to be heard, we as brown people, the original people of this land, must be an advocate of change, a pillar of our community, a comunidad, a product of evolution, advancement, progress, and perseverance. For generations we have been undereducated, underprioritized, underserved, underrepresented, underprivileged, and under attack by the financial system on all levels. We must push forward moving in the same direction with one common goal to determine the destiny of our own brown body. We demand in our own stolen land, social status of equality, a right to generational wealth. And let's not forget reparations plus 174 years of interest. Long overdue, long side died and dated in the treaty day while the new bed. Remember, we all have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit to happiness. And the pursuit to happiness. Don't you let no one tell you it ain't what it is. I want to welcome everybody, all my people, all my people, to the Chicano Power of the Dollar. I want to welcome everybody back to the Chicano Power of the Dollar. This, your shoulders are going slow, and I understand that a lot of people don't give a shit about starting a business, you really got a job, you know, whatever it is, right? But everybody talks about supporting unity and all these kind of things, right? Brown, Chicano, but like American Cholo said, money, sometimes that sounds like a bunch of bullshit, you feel me? And who just say if it is money because it it, it it feels like the hand they they like hearing bullshit like they don't want to hear anything that's going to gonna close the wealth gap they don't want to hear anything that's going to take us out of these red lines of neighborhoods you know what I'm saying they ain't gonna do anything about our neighbors being displaced the people on the corners that are homeless that used to have a home they own the home and we just rented one I mean there's a lot of things going on that we ain't doing nothing about it because it's none of our business. And that's how we're trained and we see shit, mind our own business, none of our business. But it's crazy how we'll get involved in the situation that's trying to do with us, but we won't fight for the kids in the cages. We won't make a big deal about that. We make big deals about shit that doesn't do with us and we've done it over and over and over throughout history. But we never fought for ourselves. But we're willing and ready to knock down our own people at any given time. The shit's fucking Ridiculous backwards is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We gotta retrain ourselves uh, how to think. You feel me? Because we've already been trained a certain way to think. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley money itself is going through a big makeover as far as gentrification. They're on the east side painting over murals. They're selling these properties to rich people and they don't give a fuck about those murals. They don't care about getting sued. They got good lawyers, they'll win. So they're not worried about that shit. So we're just getting knocked down at every single way, every angle and every way, I mean, but we're still not doing anything about it. They're saying us and making us move out to the fucking valley, money, basically to the reservation. You feel me? They're taking us two, three hours away from our employment, from our jobs that we have to drive two, three hours to go to work every day and then two, three hours to go back home every day. This, this is, Five hours of driving, including the eight hours that you did, 13 hours of the day that you're gone from your family. You get home at night, you spend an hour, hour and a half with your family. This takes away from your family unit, period. Now you're not even raising your kids no more. You don't got a chance to because you're too busy working, trying to come out with the money to raise your family. The way they set this shit up, money, it, it it's all has to do with us being away from our children to not be able to teach them money, us being away from our families. Us, this gives us no time to think about nothing else to trip off anything else, to make a big deal about anything else. We're too busy every day, you know what I'm saying? So it's a fucked up situation, you feel me? And it's so easy for them to take advantage of us by just de-investing in these neighborhoods that are redlined. You know what I'm saying? Not investing, basically. You know what I'm saying? And they stop investing, right? And they let these neighborhoods get ran down, boarded up, gang infested, drug infested. The only resources there are nonprofit organizations, basically. And they're limited to resources. You feel me? So they do all these things, bro, because what it does is it lowers the property in these areas where they're able by eminent domain or just with their money to move people out, clean the area up, rebuild, sell it for five times more than what they bought it for. You feel me? 
and at the same time changing the identity of this neighborhood, which is killing two birds with one stone. You feel me? Today. You know what I mean? But we're not here fighting for our neighborhoods. We're not here. Yeah, we make a big deal a couple of days and that's it. But it's way bigger than that. We're not we're not building leaders, politicians. Instead we just complain and deal with it and just keep it keep it moving, baby. Because that's what we know. Plus they're so used to putting us in jails, bro. They, we're just lucky we're not in jail. That's what we think. You know what I'm saying? So we accept anything that's given to us as more than what it really is, and it ain't shit. You feel me? Uh, people have been given, people are addicted to welfare, housing, living for free. Hey, they don't understand the real struggles of life because they're, they're, on, they're on welfare, they're on food stamps, they're on fucking housing, they're on all these things, and they're on it for 10, 15 years. You know what I'm saying? And the real people that really need it ain't getting it. These people that do have it are not taking advantage of it when they got it and learning how to grow from that so that they can build and let that go and give it to somebody else who really needs it at some point. You know? But we don't do that. Because we don't, it's every man for themselves. Because we're from that hood and we don't got nothing. And, and I better have it than give it to that motherfucker. That's how we're trained. We are trained to knock down each other. You know what I'm saying? We've been trained like that, money. Right? It's just the, our whole way of thinking. Our process, the whole thing has to be rethought. We have to be retrained on how we deal with the daily processing of information. You know what I'm saying? So that we know how to categorize it better. Because right now, everybody's all everywhere. Money, we, we gotta fight for the same cause, my boy, and we're not doing that. But I understand that we've been disrupted so many different times, displaced so many different times. You feel me? And, and, and it's it's. It's hard to reach goals. It's, it's like when you go to school, if you move, you move 10 times when you go to school, you probably didn't learn shit because they're moving you around too much. You feel me? Then socially, you're getting fucked. Everything. There's a, there's a way in the process. These, these dudes did this shit a long time ago. Scientists, they figured all this shit out. They know exactly how to rule and run and, 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 and guide a mass population of people in any direction they want. You tell you guys to go over here, you go over there, like a swarm of bees. From over there, over there. Go that way, go this way. That way, and we just that's how we move. You know, when George Floyd happened, what do they do? Let's go over here, kick off over here, go kick off over there, go kick off over there. But they have us ignore the, some of the real fucking problems happening in America. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the, the fucking racist shit's happening in America, money. You know, the, the same shit that they were doing to our people back in 1492, they're still doing in those fucking cages over there right by the border, money. We got our own people, Border Patrol. Chicanos, Latinos, money that don't give a fuck watching our own people get fucked because they're already brainwashed too. They don't give a fuck. No one gives a fuck. They look at that as criminals. And we're supposed to look at criminals as bad. But who's the real criminal? How do you come and pillage a whole fucking land of people, destroy them all, and then call us criminals on our own fucking land? How do you grab us all and throw us in these little small areas in the desert where there's no food, no water, no way to grow? Bro, it's evil shit, my boy. Hell, it's evil. And we don't care. We go, we send our kids to school during Columbus Day, they're over there making turkeys and, and the Mayflower and all kinds of dumbass big shit. This, this fucking savage money, this fucking pirate, you feel me? All these pirates that were sending from, the, from Europe this way, money, were coming and destroying shit. You know what I'm saying? So, let me kick this shit off, money. Now, you already know that uh, disadvantaged neighborhoods to the rich, Our gold mines, money, because they know they can take advantage of us, money. They know how to lower the property values. They know how to move us out of these fucking places. I mean, they've been doing it since 1492. You feel me? When you do something so many times, bro, you get that shit down to a T, you know exactly how to do it, and then you've got several ways to do it. And that's how they've been doing this. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in the dark, gee, and we don't even care because we got so much other shit to worry about. On the streets, you got to worry about someone's going to shoot you, stab you, rob you. You know, you got to worry about your kids, you got to worry about this, you got to worry about her getting to work on time, getting back home, picking up your kid. There's just so much shit to worry about, and they make it like that for us. You feel me? The disadvantages, bro, for instance, gas going up, money. How you going to afford your job now? You're getting paid fucking pennies. You're paying more money to get to work every day now. So basically, your check is split in half. Half of your check is going towards gas to get to work. The other half is... It's going to pay half of your rent. Now, where are you going to get the other half of the rent money at? They make it, they're making it. I'm telling you, bro, this is another way 
to displace us, bro. And then they use all, oh, barrels of oil went up this much because we're fighting. Man, we got our own natural resources. We got Mexico. We got other places that we can get oil from. They don't have to come to this. And that's why Donald Trump was aware of all this shit. They say that Donald Trump, I remember I, specifically that gas prices were way lower with Donald Trump. I remember that with Donald Trump, we were getting fucking paid. My folks were getting checks. He was looking out for the American people. Although everyone saying he's a racist bastard, you guys let this fucking Joe Biden and this fucking Harris uh, racist ass fucking uh, politicians, money. So you gotta understand, like they could be black and still be racist as fuck because they're politicians. And I'm talking about that, that the anti-minority politicians, the, the whitewashed black politicians, the whitewashed Mexican politicians, the whitewashed Asian politicians, money. You feel me? That don't give a fuck. They think they're white. They're fighting for the wrong cause. You feel me? That's why we need to get the right politicians in there, money. The right people in there to fight for us, my boy. Because if not, they're gonna keep on doing what they've been doing to us in the financial system, bro. Saying that we're unfit for fucking uh, uh, investment, or or we're just risky, or we even hazardous. No one's gonna give us a loan, bro. No one's gonna help us. No one's gonna get us out this run. You know I mean, because no one gives a fuck about us, bro. Except for us. We're the only ones, and even us don't give a fuck about us. Because we cause all these separations and everybody always got something else to say about somebody else. We can't just grow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, learn to find common ground with each other. Compromise. You feel me? But that's not the case, money. Anyhow, let me jump back to this. Let me jump back to all this little bullshit, money. So in 1492, money, you had this vato named Cristobal Colon, also known as Christopher Columbus, who was sent here by the Queen of Spain. Now this vato wasn't a Spaniard, money. He wasn't a conquistador bullshit, right? This guy was a fucking um, Italian pirate, a freelancer, that was hired by the queen to come out here and, and find gold. He landed down the wrong coast because he was a jacket. You feel me? He's way, way, way off money. You feel me? But he couldn't go back to Spain looking like a jacket. You feel me? But nothing. So this motherfucker grass, Taino Indians, money. Yes, Taino Indians, way up there by Maine, New York, New Jersey, up there, down that way. You're from Connecticut, the Northeast. This guy lands over there. He grabs all these Taino Indians, money, and takes them back to Europe. You feel me? In four decades, money, 40 years of doing this thing, money, taking these Indians from all these lands, bro, and taking them everywhere, money. You feel me? In Europe, New Zealand, Africa, they're taking these fools everywhere, money. Native Indians from the Americas, before this was Americas. We don't know the real name because these fuckers destroyed everything and got rid of all the real shit. So we don't have no idea about our past, uh, pre-Columbus pre and pre-Cortez, we don't know nothing really. You feel me? Other than what they tell us, and we don't even know if they're telling us the truth. These fuckers destroyed everything and wrote their own history about everything. We don't know what's real, what's fake, we don't know. You feel me? But, but we do know that gentrification is real, man. And we do know that they're using eminent domain, that they're pushing people out of these neighborhoods, bro, and gentrification is really happening. And people are being displaced again. So this guy who came in 1492, money, took all these fucking Indians, money. You know what I'm saying? And for four decades, four decades they were taking these Indians, money. They say that over seven million Daniel Indians were whacked out. And you already know that's a fucking, that's not even the truth. The sick part about it is we learned this shit and we're okay with it. We send our kids to school to learn bullshit history, money. That's why I always tell my daughter, nothing else matters in that school. What you're learning, I don't give a shit about nothing at school. All I care about is that you learn math. That's the main thing is numbers. Learn that history, fuck first history. Social studies, fuck social studies. I'll teach you all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to learn math at school, and of course I'm teaching her too. You feel me? Because that's important. Outside that, everything else they teach us in school is a bunch of colonial bullshit that we don't need. That's all colonizer shit. They're they brainwashing us, money. Fuck that. You feel me? So I teach my kids that. My daughter does not, my daughter does not give any credit to no fucking white man named Santa Claus, money. We don't do that in my house. My kids are really aware there is no Santa Claus. Your mom and dad buy you shit. Mexican people, our skin, our color. I'm not teaching my daughter as a white man giving her free shit. I'm not gonna do that. You feel me? So, my kids are aware of this. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. We call it Turkey Day. Uh, we do eat turkey, and, and we try to get to a point where we're not gonna be doing that anymore. You feel me? A lot of these racist holidays, we're not gonna be celebrating. You feel me? We gotta be making a big deal, money. We gotta be making a big deal. These fucking people, they vilified uh, Pancho Villa, Zapata, Joaquin Murrieta, Geronimo, these are all fucking heroes, money. Heroes that fought for our people. And these fucking Europeans, they vilify them. And they make people like Christopher Colon, a mass murderer, money. A slaughtered fucking Indians. 
for fucking four decades, money, because it's fucking do. You feel me? And, and and we celebrate this fucking Christopher Columbus bullshit. You feel me? It's fake, money. Don't fall for the shit. You feel me? And then you then you had the second J Cat that came in 1502, ten years after Christopher Columbus, who's also an Italian pirate, and his name was uh, Vespucci, uh, Americo Vespucci, which was uh, he named the, this country, this continent, America, right? Or America, right? And um, so that was the original. I got a I got a homie named Americo. And I never even knew till later on that his name represented uh, the name of the continent. At one time, this guy, Americo uh, Vespucci, uh, came here and, like I said, he named this continent America. That was in 1502, right? He, he left with nothing too, just more Indians, basically. The next Vato that was lined up to come, homie, I think he came in 15, 16, 15, 18, around there, 15, 19, and he landed on the right coast this time. This time he lands on the coast over by Veracruz, Canton. Cancun and all that shit over there, and runs into the Aztecs, money. Uh, they 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 poison these fools. They hit these fools with diseases, and they did everything they can, and they found a way to knock down the Aztecs. And we don't really know the real how they really did anything, money, because they wrote the history. So we don't really know. We just know they destroyed our people. You feel me? Now, this guy who ended up coming during this time, his name was Hernan Cortez. This was the third pirate that showed up on the coast, what is now known as the Americas. You know what I'm saying? And you got to remember, all this shit separated us, money. We all got separated behind these people coming here to this land. Because before that, we were just a bunch of tribes everywhere. You feel me? But it was all the same people that over, you know, thousands of years, we separated. You know what I mean? For whatever reasons. But before these people came, these colonizers, money, shit was way different, my boy. And then when they, we went, we, this was our homeland. By them coming, we were all displaced. You feel me? They displaced everybody. They whacked everybody else out. You feel me? They pushed people as far as north, east, south as, as possible. People had to hide in jungles and mountains and deserts and caves. All that shit, my boy. You feel me? Uh, and there's still a gang of dialects. Now right there and others, native languages used in Mexico. You feel me? More than any other country from what I know of. You know what I mean? And, um... Like I said, so so this Vesp this Vespucci dude, he names his shit. Horny Cortez comes down, he's another fucking pirate that was sent by the queen, and he this time he, he makes it happen. He, he he gets the gold, he gets the uh turquoise, and better yet, he gets New Spain. So they call this place New Spain, money. You feel me? So Amerigo calls it America, but then these guys come and they call it the New Spain. You feel me? But you, you gotta know they can't Amerigo uh, Vespucci and Christopher Columbus were Italian pirates. They weren't Spanish. Now, this so-called conquistador, Hernan Cortez, he was an actual Spaniard. So when he came, you know, he came to take shit. You know, you got to remember the pirates back then, you know, they, they take everything to nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's proof that these vatos are pirates. I and mean, you, you watch the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, you hear them talking about uh, the Aztec gold, uh, the gold of Cortez and whatnot. This vato was a pirate. Don't let them uh, make you believe that they use the word conquistador and make it sound like if they were like some royal motherfuckers or something. And they weren't, honey. You feel me? They were just some fucking Spanish ass pirates that were hired by the queen to come in, honey. They call them kings and captains and lieutenants. On. I mean, he probably got that shit after the fact. You feel me? But they came, they conquered, and they ended up calling it the New Spain. And of course, we had to claim our independence and, you know, from them, and then claim our independence from France, and then and America came in, and uh, even the, the, United, the racist United States came in and, and took, the, you know, took all the shit. You feel me? So, we've been dealing with displacement for a very, very long time. These vatos came in 1492 with the whole sea to shining sea ideology, which is gentrification. You know what I mean? So, that's how they came here, money. You feel me? They came here with the intent to, to steal, to take, uh, to, to, to abolish, to destroy, to rape, uh, uh, and, and, and every other fucking anything you can think of to assault the people the original people of this land is what these uh, Vikings and, and pirates and all these bottles really, you know, that's what they did, man. You feel me? And, and like I said, while doing this, they destroyed all of our fucking history, money, as much as possible. And any, any fucking old motherfuckers, ancestors, anybody, money, elders, they whacked them all out so nothing gets rewritten. You feel me? It's to be forgotten. You feel me? They destroyed everything, money, everything, everything, of every single Aztec, I mean, every single uh, indigenous group. 
they destroyed everything from every indigenous group, period, man. From 1846, money, which was a time that they had annexed Texas or Texas annexed away itself from Mexico, supposedly. I don't know how they did that shit, right? And because uh, there were so many rules, they, they could do whatever they wanted, money. It's basically what happened. You feel me? They took Texas money, it was all plot in the plan. They started shit with Mexico. Mexico wasn't filling their money. They had slaves in Texas. It was, there was, a, um, slavery was abolished in Mexico at the time. Uh, these fools didn't like it. They didn't want to listen to the Mexicans, like Pancho Villa on them. Like I said, they make Pancho Villa vilified. These are people that fought for our fucking land, money. Of course, we look at them a whole different way, but we can't let these people vilify. We should have, if they want to have the numbers day, we should have Pancho Villa and Zapata day, money. It's fucking bullshit, G. You feel me? Especially here in the Southwest. You feel me? We should have a Geronimo day, all that shit, my boy. Why don't we got that shit? Because these people labeled our people savages. They're the real savages. You feel me? We didn't go and interrupt anything on there, man. You feel me? We were here, displaced, when the continent of um, Africa separated from us, you feel me? Uh, through the South Atlantic, the water basically separated us, bro. We, we were by ourselves. We were displaced again. And we still found a way to survive. And then these bottles came and just fucked us all and fucked everything up, man. Original, original real shit. There's only two places in the whole world from what I know of that you're going to be finding a bunch of these temples and pyramids. And that's over there in Mexico. In Central South America and then in Africa, maybe. the continent of Africa. These are the only two places. And like I said, we were connected before. You know what I mean? Uh, figured out. But in, four, 18, in 1846, when they annexed uh, Texas and took it away from Mexico, maybe, later on, um, it being a part of the bigger plan of, of uh, Manifest Destiny, uh, these Vatos planned this whole shit out. Gee? So they take Texas first, money. You feel me? They start a fight with, me with Mexico, with people like Pancho Villa who start busting back. And then they also utilized the Buffalo soldiers and sent blacks over there. You mean, because they were always their first ones in line because they didn't give a fuck about them either. So they're going to utilize them first, Polk and all these fucking cats, right? Um, so these guys come in, money, they fucking, they fight for Texas, they end up taking Texas, money. You feel me? Then they start a war behind the whole Mexican war with, with uh, for California because of the gold rush and all the natural resources, minerals, and everything that was here on the southwest that was untapped, these fools wanted to come and take it back to the east, to the to Europe, you feel me? And um, this from 1846 to 1910, homie, we were displaced over and over and over and over, sent to all these different reservations and here's and there, just getting knocked down everywhere we could think of. They let these poachers or these fucking uh, bandits, these fucking Vikings, these fucking pirates come in and take whatever land you wanted. If you could whack these people out, take their land, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? No one knew. No one knew, money. No one knew. It didn't matter. You feel me? So, in regards, so in regards to the whole 1846 to 1910, money, where well, we were being displaced numerous times, my boy. You feel me? And went to war, and a lot of our people were getting pillaged, raped, killed, everything, all the same period, my boy. This, this fucking, what was it, uh, uh, uh 54, um, 60, about well, over, for 60 years, money. For 60 fucking years, we were being fucking destroyed, money, straight, just everything taken from us, our lands, everything, and then getting pushed out. You know what I'm saying? And, and they just, they, they robbed us, my boy. And, and, and the sick part about it, just watch this whole shit, it, it's called the Treaty de Guadalupe Hidalgo. You feel me? You're going to read that. If you're going to real estate, that's one of the main things they're going to talk about. And that, it's, it's, a very, it's the first of the book, basically. It's a breakdown, because that's what it all comes down to when they stole our land. You feel me? So the Treaty of the Guadalupe, which was signed in 1848, money, there were stipulations, there was agreements on there. They were never honored, my point. Never, never honored. Never followed. Matter of fact, they gave, they showed blood disregard to any of those motherfucking things. And then they rewrote it later to take that shit out. You feel me? So so what they did, money, and how they did it, it was all illegal. You feel me? And then by not following these stipulations, these agreements, money, it, it becomes a breach of contract, which becomes void. Which makes this fucking land stolen, my boy. You feel me? But we don't claim it. Just like we don't claim reparations. You know? We don't complain like that, money. We just accept whatever. Because these bottles got a stream like that. During the transatlantic slave trade, money, they took so many fucking Indians, money, from everywhere, money. From the Gulf Coast of Mexico to the Atlantic Coast to the Pacific Coast. They took everybody, money. All the Indians, they were taking all them all to Europe to fucking Africa, to New Zealand, all to the islands, all these places, money, to work. I mean, these were destinations. Some of these places were just uh, spots for them to park and post up and keep the slaves there and, and whatever, you know. You always wonder why, uh, like, at, for instance, Atlanta, right? Georgia, 
and I'm in Georgia. That was one of the first places that the Europeans during the transatlantic slave trade were bringing uh, a bunch of the black slaves. And that's why you have um, Black Hollywood over in, in Atlanta, because these people learn to adapt and these people learn to uh, accept what's going on and to find a way to fight and make it better. And they did. Atlanta is a, is a, is a, is a beautiful city. From the skyline, I'm saying, I've never been there. You feel me? But it's a beautiful city. It, it's a black city, money. They built that shit. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. You got another black city like Detroit, they didn't knock all the way down. You feel me? They, they don't even give a fuck about. And that's supposed to be the motor capital of the world. It used to be a long time ago. But it is what it is. So during this trans Atlantic slave trade, money, like I said before, millions of Indians, money were displaced and sent to another fucking, another part of the world, they had no idea where they were at. And then they had to run away. And then they had to find their ways and live in, those, in these jungles and, and these uh, uh, um, faraway lands, money. You know what I mean? They had to adapt. You feel me? And they did. There's native Indians all around the world, money. There's just like, just blacks all around the world. African, Africans. You feel me? Because these people displaced us and put us everywhere. You feel me? Wherever they felt that we needed to work, to, to, to be told what to do, is where they sent us. You know what I'm saying? And millions and millions of us. By the Dutch coming in the, in South America, the Portuguese coming into uh, Brazil, the Spanish coming into Mexico, the French coming into Mexico, Louisiana, uh, the, the British coming into the East. Uh, basically, any European that had a fucking boat, a ship that could get over here, were claiming a piece of land. I mean, and all these people claiming this land, and they all put their own roots in all these pieces. They were all, it was all, we were all the same. But they put all their own roots in all these fucking places to separate us, money. You feel me? And then they named all these things different separators. Uh, Guatemala, Salvador, Costa Rica, uh, fucking um, Honduras. All these things were all part of Mexico. Everything was all, all that way down. It was all the same fucking place. Money. We were all the same kind of people, money. Now, like I said, I just want to talk a little bit about history, money. And how many times we've been displaced. Could you trip on how many times we've been displaced, money? How long they've been doing this whole, uh, this redlining. We've been getting red lines since the reservation. This ain't nothing new. They said it came out in the 1920s and 40s and 30s. That shit came out way before, I mean, it was just more obvious then. And, and they didn't give a fuck, because who cares who knew? We couldn't do nothing about it anyways, right? So it didn't even matter, you feel me? Now, of course, it, it's a lot different, because now the society overall, the technology, everything, is it's just, it, it's out there, so you can just do what you want it, or do what you want, like you did in, in the early 1900s. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot different, man. But you still got these federal home loan mortgage corporations like Freddie Mac the Pimp, Fannie Mae, who are loan home loan agencies, money corporations. You have to qualify, bro. You got conventional loans and you got unconventional loans. Now, a conventional loan is, is a little bit more straightforward. Unconventional loan is uh, a risky person basically, but they're gonna take those risks because only gonna lose your house, that's how they make their money. You feel me? But what they did in 2005, 2008, they gave massive amount of loans to blacks and Latinos money, uh, way over proportion of what they gave whites. You feel me? As far as just conven unconventional loans, all these people defaulted. They took all their homes from their money. 2008 crashed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the housing market fucking busted. The, the, the bubble bursting, whatever these fuckers want to call it, you feel me? But really, at the end of the day, is they fucked everybody, money. You feel me? For those two, three years, they were just waiting. It's all planned, it's a plot. You feel me? It's like anything. We do it on the streets, money. You feel me? They'll always know, bro. All politics, everything that happens, we deal with it every day in the hood, in prison, everywhere, money, on a way, way, way smaller scale than what these people are doing. So if you can take what we do and then look at what they're doing and then put it together and line shit up, then you know exactly how this shit all works. You feel me? It's real simple. You feel me? It ain't hard to figure out, you know, but uh, these loaners, though, bro, these loaners, they extended home loans to all these minority people, knowing they were going to end up defaulting, and then they would be able to buy the houses, you know what I'm saying, at half the price, you feel me? And then, and then resell them, you know what I'm saying, to secondary investors out the back door, basically, you feel me? And, and, and they get everybody that, that money. Now your credit's fucked. You lost your car. At that time, the whole economy fell apart. You know, people went homeless behind this shit, behind these rich bastards. And then they all got bailed out. They all got bailed out. But the American people didn't. Because they don't give a fuck about us, money. We're, we're the ants, G. 
They need us to go to work so they can keep up their, their fucking pockets fat. You feel me? And then when they feel like their pockets not fat enough, they 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 they, they go in to Wall Street. Uh, they go into uh, the financial system and they do a couple of little tweaks, money. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that their money's still rolling in and and that their money that they're getting is your money. You feel me? So that's what we are, money. We, we, we build America with our taxes, with everything. We can't get nothing back. The gasoline prices are fucking soaring to seven dollars. Seven dollars, money. Seven fucking dollars, G. We had fucking Trump in there for four years. Our fucking gas was under fucking four. You feel me? That this guy Biden and, and like I said, Kamala Harris, money. You gotta remember that that this fucking bride, money. She she fucking incarcerated uh, more African Americans and, and Chicanos, Mexicanos, Latinos than anybody, money. Kamala Harris, money, she's the queen of incarceration, money. She, she, she's doing the same shit that the Clintons did, money. They try to put us all in jail, money. With the whole three strikes, money. With the mass incarceration, money. We're locking up everybody in California because brown and black. You feel me? It, it's giving them all advantage. See, all these things locking us up, it's all part of uh, the wealth gap. You feel me? All these things they do to, to us is part of the wealth gap. Because they know if they lock up all the fathers, the moms are going to be too much trying to work and take care of the kids. There's no one else going to be able to do that. You're never going to be able to create wealth. You feel me? So it's smart the way they do it. But we got to be smarter and adapt to it. You feel me? Just like in Silicon Valley, money, everybody should all, you know, justification. Me too. You feel me? We, let's pay more murals then. Fuck these fools. Put more, they take a mural down, we put five murals up. You feel me? You, you know what? That's Silicon Valley. But what do we know? We know how to adapt. You know why we know how to adapt? Because we've been displaced so many fucking times. So Silicon Valley, baby, we gotta adapt. It's the fucking, it, it's one of the, the, the biggest um, technology communities it, on this planet. So we gotta be smart, money, and we gotta say, you know what, let's adapt. Let's learn about fucking uh, uh, software, hardware, coding, and anything else that has to do with technology. Let's build some, let's get into AI, artificial intelligence. Let's get into this. We got a lot of hand already, but they're still working for somebody else. They're still building somebody else's dream. We need to fucking walk away from all that bullshit and build our own shit. All you vatos that already know all this technology, you gotta open those schools and, and teach the people that, homie, so that we could survive in that environment. By learning how to survive in this environment, you have to do what's necessary in that environment, and that's technology. You feel me? That's how we live in Silicon Valley, money. That's how we grow. That's how we take it back to the homeland. Even though this is stolen, this is also the homeland. This is the stolen homeland. I'm talking about on the other side of the Rio Grande, the other side of this fucking fake-ass wall that they built. Or this real wall, but shouldn't even be there. I used to have a fake-ass wall because it, how are you going to build a wall somewhere where you have no right to build it? How are you going to keep people away from something that where they belong? You feel me? Anyhow, like I said, my boy, this shit is something that we know, money. That's what we're good at. We're good at adapting, money. Let's adapt to this shit, bro. Let's, let's learn all this shit. Let, let's be a part of Silicon Valley instead of fighting it and trying to get a job at a mechanic place, at fucking Pet Boys, at fucking Taco Bell, at a fucking warehouse. Fucking go to school. Go to school and learn technology, baby. That's how we do it. You feel me? That's how we've always done it, money. You know what I'm saying? We adapt. We're good at adapting, money. You can send me to any prison, you can send me anywhere, I'll fucking adapt. Send me to the fucking jungle, I'll be over there with some little casones on, with a big ass thing of feathers on my head, homie, and running around hunting, hunting fucking anything to eat, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Give me five years, I'll start my own tribe. You feel me? Huge as fuck, money. You feel me? Because we can do that, my boy. Because we're made like that. You feel me? So take that, make that shit come out of you, my boy. Let's take over shit. You feel me? And if we can't take over shit, let's at, let's at least adapt to be right there with the money. We should never be like this. This is the way it's at right now, bro. We gotta learn how to come back. You feel me? And we could, because we're still here. We're still here. You feel me? We're still here, we're deep as fuck. At some point, once we get to a certain point in California, over 50%, we can annex ourselves back to Mexico if we wanted to. And anybody else who wants to come, just like you did to us. And it all has to do with the financial system. So all I'm trying to say is, why are we fighting behind George Floyd getting killed or whatever? You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, uh, God bless his family. Uh, rest in peace to that man. And it's a fucked up way to go when, when uh, these fucking sick bastards are running around killing people. But it's not the first time, my boy. They've been doing this to us forever. You know, we're still fighting for the wrong things, my boy, is all I'm trying to tell you. And I'm not saying uh, police brutality is fighting for the wrong thing. All I'm trying to say is that by us fighting for the main shit, we'll stop all the little shit. So if we fight for the financial the financial system, bro, to have more equality, then everything else will fall in line as far as equality, bro. But we can't fight at the bottom and think we're going to get results from the top. 
Because we're not, we have to fight the top to get the results. They'll trickle down to the bottom. Or that shit that won't happen at the bottom no more because we're dealing with shit at the top. You know what I mean? So there's a difference, money, how to attack shit. You gotta know how to attack shit, my boy. You feel me? We, people are not even thinking about all these things. It's war strategies, baby. And that's what they're doing to us. They're not just, they're just living a regular day in society. These motherfuckers are, 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 are fucking control freaks. And I'm talking about God, I'm talking about rich people, they're control freaks. People that run this shit, they control, they want to control population, they want to control how you think, they want to control what you eat, they want to fucking, and I'm back, I say eat, I mean, they, they take you, you think they go into these farms and these strong buy all this farmland from all these farmers for nothing? Now they get them out the way, so they take all these seeds, they take away everything that's real, and they can do their whole, uh, 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 um, genetically uh, modified organisms in these seeds, basically GMO seeds, and now we're not even, they can put anything in this shit. We don't know what we're eating anymore. Is corn really corn now? Or is it corn with, with cancer? You feel me? I mean, we don't know. We don't know what these people are doing to us, G. You feel me? So, like I said, this, this whole thing has to do with, with gentrification, uh, displacing us. And of course, like I said, redlining us. You know what I mean? There was a time that was called white flight. I don't know if you ever heard of that. It's called white flight, where the majority of Gabachos or, or Caucasian people didn't want to live in any neighborhoods where there was minorities, black, brown, or Asian. So what they would do is they would move to the suburbs and move out of the urban areas. These urban areas would get redlined so that, you know, you would be labeled as, you know, uh, unworthy uh, for investment, unfit for investment, um, uh, hazardous, uh, very risky, uh, all that kind of shit. Money, non-desirable, all the kind of shit like that that these creditors would see and they won't give you shit. So you can't start a business. You can't start this. You can't do that. You can't do anything. They make it so hard that you can't do shit, money. You can't do shit. And you go in there, you're a white guy, pale, blue eyes, blonde hair, you don't have to have shit. You go in there, you talk to them, they give you a loan, you walk away. They're getting people from these other fucking third world countries and whatever, because they got invaded by somebody else and do with us. They come into our country and they get fucking free education, top notch, they get money, they get housing, they get all kinds of shit. We've been here forever, we don't get nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing. You feel me? Uh, 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 um. And don't get me wrong, when I say nothing, I mean, don't get me wrong, you all these motherfuckers on welfare and housing and all this other shit. You feel me? So they're depending on the government. You mean? So it all boils down to that type of shit. We can't depend on the fucking government, money. We cannot depend on the fucking government, bro. You feel me? We gotta build our own governments within our own fucking communities, money. We gotta know how to close that wealth gap, money. And that's by building our own people, helping our own people. These people are in position, they're Latinos and Chicanos, Mexicanos, instead of pocketing all that fucking money, harboring all the information. You know what I'm saying? Pass that shit to your people, to us, so that we can grow too. Or we're all gonna be at the bottom, we're gonna stay like this. And you, I, of course, rich people, they don't care because they're mingling with other rich people. They're not even brown anymore, they're not even black anymore, they're white. They, they're white in the inside. They, the, the skin is just a cover up now. You know what I'm saying? They're whitewashed, money. They got, they, and now they don't give a fuck about us. So now we got a bunch of these people that look like us, but they're not representing us. You know what I'm saying? We gotta change this whole fucking thing, money. The whole political background, everything, money. There's a gang of politicians, money. You got the sisters over there in Texas. I think one's like a mayor. The other one's in the Senate. You got people over here in California. Like 40, 40, 50 politicians are, have to do with us, money. You know what I'm saying? Latinos, Mexicanos, and nothing's happening here either. Arizona, Nevada. Like, when are we gonna get these politicians to really start fighting for us and stop getting into politics for all the wrong reasons? I mean, it's just like anything. People get into the wrong shit for the wrong reason. Someone gets into a prison game and they didn't really get in it because they love the people and they want to see it grow and they want to see it fucking prosper and flourish in the right ways. Instead, they come in like tyrants and they knock shit down. You feel me? So it's the same thing. We got that in all politics, man. No matter what. Prison politics, presidential politics, United States politics, world politics. It's all the same shit, my boy. So to break it all down, my people, this federal home loan, Mortgage Corporation money, they sold everybody a fake-ass American dream money. And people were living there and thought they were doing good and they robbed us, bro. You feel me? There is no history money about us. Pre-Columbus, pre-Cortez money. Only what they want to tell us, money. they destroyed everything, bro. If not, they got it saved over there under some fucking uh, vault, basement, or some shit in Europe money. Put away. They will never know. Only they know. You feel me? And because they know all this information about us, they know how to control us. This is way back then. You feel me? So, because they know our belief system. They know how we think. They know how they did. So it was so easy for them to trick them. You know, people say that um, Moctezuma and then they all got tricked by these Europeans when they came in, Cortez and them. 
But you gotta understand, they came in with shiny gold and everything. And our fucking ancestors, money, they believed in the fucking earth, they believed in the dirt, they, they had belief systems in the sun, the sky, the stars. They were so, they were, they were very uh, aggressive people with their own people. But when they see these gabachos, it's like everything, money. You feel me? They, oh my God, and they see all the fucking, you know, the shiny fucking armor hitting off the sun, all that shit made them look like they were like some gods or something, money. It, it, it's just like today, money, you know, you meet some dude, you run into him, you see him in the store, he has a bunch of shiny fucking gold on and all that shit, and you like, whoa, fucking, you, you, you look at him as a higher person up there, someone living the good life that you're not living, someone that has these high standards that you don't have, someone that, all this shit, it's all bullshit, it's, it's, that right there, that's all uh, an image to make you think, you know, because people know how your fucking brain works, and you automatically, that just comes in your head automatically, because that's how we were programmed. You feel me? So, it's been like that. I mean, don't blame our ancestors only, money, because these people, they came and they, 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 they were very sophisticated as far as trickery goes, money. You know what I mean? And you got men, they were doing it to each other over there, so they learned all that shit too from doing it with each other before they came over here. You feel me? And we did it too low to each other, money, but we just had different ways because all these other civilizations, Indian civilizations born, we know of, and we don't know if this is true, we're fighting with the Aztec nation. And how do we know that? We don't know that. We don't even know if it's for even be any kind of type of truth, money. And we don't know. We don't even know what these. We don't know what scientists, archaeologists, what all these people are writing and what they really found and all this shit. But they can take pictures. They can do. They could. Bro, they could tell. They can tell us whatever they want, money. Whatever they want. Majority of the time, we're gonna believe these fucks. Going back to the 2008 thing, money with the whole fucking housing crisis. Everybody losing their homes. Warren Buffett benefiting the most off of this shit. Uh, just everything, money, how this shit all played out. Even right now, bro, with this whole COVID, all the rich got richer, 10 times more. You know, everybody, bro. This, I'm telling you, bro, this is a, a system and a way to make the poor poorer, uh, you know, push out disease. And all this has to do with gentrification, being displaced, redlining. Uh, redlining was just a way for them to be able to redline around certain zip codes that were majority minorities. And this was a way for the financial system to ignore, avoid, and of course, to deny uh, any financial uh, assistance, you know what I'm saying, in any type of way. That was, that's their thing, money. So, I just want to stress you out, money. Like I said, it's a lot of shit to take in. You feel me? I know I said a little bit. I know, like I said, all this has to do with, like I said, gentrification, displacing, and redlining. And this has affected us. And, and, and the biggest thing about this whole thing, homie, not only is it um, left our families, homie, with nothing for the next generation, homie, because of this wealth gap. You feel me? Not only has it done this, bro, not only has it done this, bro, but but a lot of our gente, homie, are, are homeless on the streets, drugged up, everything. These people are smart how they did everything, my boy. You know, how do we find solutions to all these problems that they're creating? Because we can't cry about the problems, we gotta find the solutions. One thing I can tell you, like I said, we've been in this place so many times, we're good at adapting. We're good at figuring out shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to do, money. We're the people of the stars, money. You know what I mean? We were doing shit that these Europeans were not doing on the other side of the ocean way before money. You know, but they make us look like savages. That movie did, Mel Gibson did money. Um, I don't even watch it. I've got the name of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Apocalypto. Bullshit. They show us like savages, all oh, the whole thing already fighting with each other, money. You know what I'm saying? It's all bullshit, my boy. You know what I mean? It, it, it's always some type of bullshit they want to feed us. You know, Malcolm's not nothing about that shit. He don't know what he read. You know what I mean? So don't fall for it to let these people make us look like savages, man. Because that's what they that's what that, that's what they've done. You feel me? There's no way. If that was the case, you're gonna have a bunch of big old temples and all kinds of fucking places. They didn't have nothing like this, they lived in caves. You feel me? And huts, little small huts and shit. You feel me? They, they didn't live how we lived, money. We lived on a whole different high tech level. That's why they seen it and they fucking wanted that shit, money. You feel me? They wanna know how we how we did that and then they sent us back and back and, oh you know what? Uh, all these places are built uh from Europe and, and uh France and Spain and my fucking missions. Nah, they, they pushed their fucking um, European uh, politics on us, uh, the European uh, religious beliefs and everything else on us. And like I said, we, we ran with that forever. But don't get me wrong, in the, in 19, in the 1848 Mexican American War, it was because of that Catholic bell that the, uh, um, that the Irish, the uh, Patricios, uh, decided uh, to flip sides and run with Mexico. And that's what we got handed like um, Canelo. You feel me? Don't ever think that our shit is all mixed up because people call us mestizos and we're all happy missing. We're not mixed, money. There was a certain part of our people that were mixed, money. That was, there was only four or five fucking uh, uh, states 
uh, where a majority of the black slaves were taking money, and that's the bottom of Mexico by Honduras, when Honduras was still Mexico, and Salvador, and, and, and Guatemala, and uh, Oaxaca, and, and, and fucking um, um, Guerrero, and, and you know, these places money that were the majority of where black slaves were uh, brought to as far as being imported from another fucking place, brought there, which is down there. Mexico went all the way up at the time. I mean, there was no, we didn't get, African Americans went mixed with us all fucking crazy, like everybody's thinking it. We were here way before that, money. But don't, like I told you before, we were a part of the African continent, money. You feel me? Don't get, I'm not trying to say anything bad, I'm like, don't get it twisted. All I'm saying is that not all of our people are mixed, money. There's still a lot of us that have original blood all up in this, money. Don't let these people tell you fucking lies, money, feed you, call us fucking mixed breeds and all kinds of fucking weird shit. Fuck that, you know what mixed breed is, money. We're fucking full breed, money. You know what, after so many years, bro, that blood that was in us, bro, that shit got fucking, uh, that shit uh, uh, evaporated, money. You know what I'm saying? That shit's out, money. It's been out, money. Once you had, it even had 10, 15, 20%, after so many fucking generations, 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 that shit got pushed out. And if that's the case, and Europeans are the same fucking way, they're mixed breed. They came over here and were fucking everybody, too. You know what I'm saying? And they were getting fucked. So there's a mixed breed, they're mixed breeds, too. Everybody's mixed. Forget about it. Even the white people are mixed with other white people. Everybody's fucking mixed, honey. You know what I mean? So don't let these people call us mixed. Fuck that, mixed these souls and mixed people. You're fucking mixed. You know what I mean? Mixed up in your fucking head. So, how do we deal with all this displacement shit, I mean, How do we deal with it today? How do we deal with gentrification? Why? How? We gotta get involved with gentrification, bro. We wanna know what they're doing in our communities. And our, we wanna be able to buy back into our communities. We wanna invest in our communities. We wanna be a part of the solution in our communities, bro. We wanna be there when the better schools are put up. We wanna be there when the healthier foods are available. We wanna be there when the neighborhoods are safer. You feel me? We don't wanna get kicked out and sent to a worse place and then you guys rebuild this shit for other people. You know what I'm saying? Displacing us again. These are our communities, we gotta fight for them. You know what I mean? There's only one way to do that, money, and that's to adapt and to, to find solutions to deal with all the harm, all the pollution, all the bullshit that these people have been doing to us for the last fucking two plus centuries, money. You know what I mean? So that's gonna that's gonna be my breakdown, money. That's gonna be my breakdown. I I, I fucking woo woo about everything. And and like I said, justification, you really wanna know about justification and displacing and redlining. I'm just trying to bring it to you so you can hear these things and you're gonna go on your own and go look at what all this shit really is. I just wanna give you a rundown on a couple things. You feel me? And let you think a little bit, my boy, and whether you agree with me or you don't, you feel me? Regardless, I just wanna give you my this is only my opinion, money. You know what I'm saying? Don't take none of this for what it is. It's only my opinion uh, uh, as far as all these people, who these people were, what they did, how they did it. It's like I said, it's just my opinion, my boy. Nothing more. You feel me? That's my disclaimer. You know what I mean? So I want everybody to know though, right now, though, honey. Straight up, straight up. A strong sense of common sense. I'm going to leave you guys with this. A strong sense of common sense, bro, is more dangerous than a gun in a book. Because you can have a gun, money, and, and I, with common sense, I can outthink you and take that shit from you, money. I'll find a way. You know what I'm saying? You could read a thousand books, money, but if you don't go on common sense, you'll never know how to apply any of that shit. It won't matter. You feel me? So common sense will take you a lot hurt, money. That's all I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So for my people, think about that. You know what I'm saying? I said mine. I want to thank everybody for fucking with the Chicano power, the dollar. Uh, this Ben's out, I was just rambling off, money. You feel me? But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one right here, homie. I'm going to hit you guys with more financial shit, ideas, and opinions that I feel that could stabilize uh, our people in these ran down communities. You know what I'm saying? I said mine.